Thank you for being part of the Oakwood Free Will Baptist Church Ministries. Our prayer is that those who listen to the Word of God will find a greater revelation of God's purpose in their lives. For additional resources, please visit us on the web at www.oakwoodfwb.com. Today, may you be encouraged, strengthened, and refreshed by our message. God didn't show me the song I was supposed to sing until last night. And uh, a little Saturday night going into Sunday this morning or whatever. Um, and so it was laying on my mind. I didn't know why and how. Right but uh, we just saw we're in times of desperation. And we all have problems with fear and worry about what's going to happen, what's our future's going to happen especially in the time that we are in in our country. We were afraid that, you know, maybe if this election doesn't turn out the way that we want it to, that we may end up like one of these countries where we're the persecution is at our home. And so I just wanted to give us a little bit of a hope from the word today. Um, and it says, let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of God. The powers that we are ordained are of God. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinance of God. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. For the rulers are not terror to good works, but to, but to the evil. Will thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and that which have praise of the same. For he is the minister of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain, for he is a minister of God, a revenger to execute wrath upon those that do it evil. Wherefore ye must needs to be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. For this cause pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers, attending continually upon this very thing. Render therefore to all their dues tribute to whom tribute is due, custom to custom, fear to whom fear, and honor to whom honor. So in this time, God's going to raise up who he's going to raise up. Sometimes he allowed wicked, wicked people to rule because we deserve punishment. And sometimes he raises up saviors. And that's what he did for us. So, but, so we're supposed to do what we're supposed to do. And we're supposed to stand up for what we believe in. Paul puts it this way in Acts 5, 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. So we're supposed to stand up what we're supposed to do. So we're supposed to obey our leaders. Whatever leader God raises up, we're supposed to obey. Otherwise, it brings about us our damnation. But except for one thing, that's we're supposed to stand on the gospel. We're supposed to go teach the gospel. We're supposed to stand up for the truth that's in this word. The song I'm about to sing says what we believe. And this is what we believe. It says, we believe in God the Father. We believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the Holy Spirit and that he's given us new life. We believe in the crucifixion. And we believe that he conquered death. We believe in the resurrection and that he's coming back again. This is what we believe. This is what they believe. This is what we're being persecuted for. And this is the message that God wants us to stand up for. And that's what we're called to do. And so this, I think this is why God put this song in my heart. And so I'm just going to sing for you. So we believe.
Jesus.